Hey guys! So, uh, I, it's been a while since the last time I reviewed a uh, episode of Classic Dark 2 because that's, it's been a while since the last time I bought a story of it. So, t but I have this one today, which is Castrovalva, the first story of the Fifth Doctor. Now, I've already reviewed the final story of the Fifth Doctor, which is Case Van Rosani, and I'm not comparing them over the, what the story they are, because it's, uh, I'm reviewing this as a story, as a doctor introduction, like the first outing, like sudden regeneration, like after having re just regenerated. Be so, he's obviously, he's obviously going to be a little loopy, like he is from every incarnation, all the way back to the second doctor, which was the first regeneration. And then... So, the re I have, I only have Kid Verzani out as an example, but uh, honestly, for a first story of a Doctor, this one honestly wasn't that bad. I mean, if you compare it to the, the other ones, such as The Twin Dilemma, which I still say is a pretty good first story, and honestly I don't see why it gets the hate it gets. Comparing it to Robot, which was Tom Baker's first story, and honestly, it's I think it's pretty good, and Tom Baker knocks it out of the park. And Sebastian McCoy, which I wish he had gotten a better first story, but I'll talk to you about that in the next time I review uh, Sebastian McCoy's story, which won't be for a while. But uh, honest, if for the first time being the Doctor, you wouldn't have thought that he would go from this to the greatness that was the cave, the caves. And even though I've only seen one story with them and I've with Tegan and Adric and Niza and I've seen a but a bunch of stories with Perry, I honestly already I like T Tegan and Adric and Niza. And Anthony Emily again as the master does as good a job as he always does and like it's a complex story, which is what it needs to be for a Doctor introduction. Like, for example, uh, it seems a pattern with classic Doctor Who regenerations that something goes a bit awry in the head, but then again, that's also the same format with regeneration in the new series. Like, they're, they're, always, they're always a bit wonky when it comes to, like, the first time out. And enough, the memory loss thing, which thankfully hasn't been much of a thing since this, because as Matt Smith says in the new series, he will always remember who he used to be. Like, it seems like they tried to start that with, um, with, with five, as well as with four, because he briefly knew about what he remembered who he was in this story, but at the same time, like, I th I still say that for classic Who, like, new in Doctor introductions is, these two are the best, but this one is obviously a, a close contender, unlike this. Time of the Mark of the Ronnie was better than this. And that's a shame because this was his first story, and it's and Colin Baker and Colin Baker's episode was better than it. Well, I, I wish I had more to say. Like it, it left almost no impact on me, and that that's a shame since comparing it. Like again, I'm not comparing it to his. Or, to Peter Davison's regeneration episode, but this episode is better compared to this, and I shouldn't have to to compare them. I'm just waiting for Ark of Infinity, which is the which is the uh, which is another Fifth Doctor episode that that has Mr. Colin Baker playing the role of. Um, Commander Moxel. 
So, I'm just trying to stall for time because, well, the plot literally had nothing to me. Like, yes, the Master creates an entire uh, planet with an entire civilization's history, but, like, it didn't get interesting until the last episode when the Doctor came around. Much like uh, the Christmas Invasion didn't get good until the Doctor woke up. So, honestly, that's about as all as I could say to it. Because, yeah, no, there's no impact. I feel like that's, I feel like this is how Council of the Geeks felt about when, felt about, um, uh, the two Doctors. Which I'm, I'm not gonna get. Because I've heard that episode's abysmal. But... I had more to say about Mark of the Ronnie. I had Robot, you know, Twin Dilemma, and Mark of the Ronnie than I do about this episode. And I, that, it's an introduction episode. I should have more to say about it. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's pretty much it. And stay tuned for my review of Legopolis, which will be which will be tomorrow, since that's when I get, since that's when my uh, DVD is arriving for it. So, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for my next Doctor Who review episode, and I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye.